Hey there YouTube, welcome back to Fab Automotive Detailing. Today we got a Ram Promaster 3500 cutaway RV. It's not a huge RV, but it's pretty good size. It's not something I normally detail, but this is my boss's uncle. He came in one day to the shop and asked me if I was willing to you know, detail this. And he's also got a Camaro he wants me to detail. And if you hear a bunch of noise, I do have the exhaust fan going because it's really hot in the shop. It's about 85 degrees outside. It feels like it's about 95 degrees in here. So that's what that noise is in the background. He doesn't want any type of paint correction or anything like that. All he wants to do is wash it and he wants protection put on it. And we're gonna use a sealant, uh, Griot's Garage One Step Sealant. So, let's do it. Okay, we're gonna give this another shot. I'm gonna do a walk around. I did it already, filmed it, and watched it and found out that the exhaust fan completely covered up my voice because I'm standing behind the shotgun microphone and the shotgun microphone is picking up the exhaust fan. But it is a Winnebago, I think it's a 2014 Ram Promaster Winnebago. Like I said, no paint correction to be done. We are gonna use a one-step sealant, which will get some paint uh, imperfections, scratches or anything, but mainly just wants the sealant. It's a good one-year sealant. Here's how dirty the wheels are. You can see all these like black streaks. More black streaks. They just look really bad, especially on a camper. I spend a lot of money on a camper and you get these, it sits outside in the weather and it just gets these nasty black streaks on it. I would guess, I would venture in saying that it's, I'm back up here, probably nine feet tall and probably 30 foot long maybe somewhere around there not something that i'm used to doing but we're gonna do it today and hopefully i'll have it done tomorrow because the race is sunday i'm going to the race on sunday there's more black streaks in the back i'm gonna go ahead and take you to the top i don't know how i'm gonna do this yet because i don't know if i can stand on this top it's completely flat and there's a big old spider right there it is completely flat as you can see, it is pretty dirty. He's really worried about the top. He wants to make sure it's cleaned and waxed as well. But being flat, I don't even know how I'm going to get the water off of it once I clean it. So this is a brand new experience for me. Doing something like this, but it's for my boss's uncle. So here you go. More black streaks right there. What I'm going to use on this, I'm hoping it works. I've never, I just went to Walmart last night and bought it. It's brand new. Purple Power Heavy Duty Vehicle and Boat. I've watched videos on it, especially uh, Dallas Paint Correction and Auto Detailing. He loves this stuff and talks about how great it is. It's a pH level 10, so it will strip waxes off, which I don't care. I'm going to be waxing anyways. Um, but it should be powerful enough to get all those black streaks off without scrubbing too hard. And I'm going to try to put it in the foam cannon. And the plan is, and we'll see if I stick to it, I'm going to try to do you know one section foam this section right here, scrub it, uh, see if all the black streaks come off. If it does, move on down, work my way down all the way around the vehicle. Um, hopefully, hopefully this doesn't take me forever, but, and I'm not going to film everything. You know, these wheels need cleaned. I'm gonna do this off camera. I'm not gonna film it. If I film everything I do on this vehicle, I'll be here for four days. So I plan on hopefully having this done in two. It's probably gonna take me just a guesstimate three or four hours to wash it, I don't know, never done this, so I guess we'll all find out together, but it's just gonna be hit and miss of when I turn the camera on and what you guys are gonna see. And uh, we'll, I'll definitely turn the camera on when I start foaming with that vehicle and boat wash, and we'll all find out together what that does on these black streaks. So I'm gonna clean these wheels and be right back. Okay, I got the wheels all clean. Now it's time to put the soap in the foam cannon. And it says to use six ounces per gallon. This is actually meant for a pressure washer. It says pressure wash concentrate, um, but we are going to use it in the foam cannon instead of putting it in the pressure washer. And it says six ounces per gallon. I think it's not real thick, so I'm probably just gonna put six ounces in here and then mix it with water. Let's see if I can do this on camera without uh, spilling it everywhere, but six ounces is like 180 milliliters. So we're just gonna fill it to the second line because it's all milliliters. We're just gonna fill it to the second line be 200 milliliters. I'm sure I'm gonna make a mess here. I'm 
Okay, it wasn't too bad. And I've already filled up my wash bucket. It suds up pretty good. In fact, let me take you off here. I filled the wash bucket with, uh, honestly, I have no idea, a lot. And it suds up pretty good. I would guess probably 12 ounces. And this stuff is only $8 at Walmart. Eight bucks. Uh, I don't care if I use a whole bunch of it. That's, I mean, that's cheap. So I'm gonna get you set up on the tripod, get the foam cannon on, the pressure washer. This is the pressure washer we'll be using. If you watched any of my other videos, I just got this. This would be my third time using it. The Ryobi 2300 PSI electric pressure washer is what we're going to be using. It's only 1.2 gallons per minute. It's not a really high flow rate. So we're going to see what it does on this uh, purple power. All right, so we're going to start right here. You see this black streak right here on this panel. It's pretty much the only one on this panel that I'm going to do. I'm just going to do a small area. We're going to see how well this works in the foam can. Really hope you guys are picking me up and that exhaust fan that's pulling air through the shop isn't messing everything up. But we're gonna do this. Six ounces of soap and then mixed with water. Unfortunately, our water heater's not working, so it's cold water. It should be hot when you when you do a foam can. It is what it is. I'm gonna rinse the surface down first with the pressure washer and then put the foam can on and see what it does. Make sure all the air is out of my line. On there. Quick disconnect ain't working right. There we go. Probably operator error again. Alright, here we go. Let's dial it in. too bad now I'm getting ready to make a lot of you cringe so take it easy I know I'm gonna get a lot of bad comments oh he used a brush I'm never watching his channel again it's an RV calm down um, I'm gonna brush this with a you know big truck brush and see what happens It actually smells pretty good. It's cherry. The scent's a cherry scent. Not a strong, overwhelming chemical smell. So that's a positive. Rinse her down, see what it did. Yep, let's turn it on. Do that all the time. I got rid of it. Always oh, right here. If there's anything left over, it's really, really hard to tell. There's not a lot of light in here. If there's anything left over, when I do the one step sealant, it's going to take care of it. The black streaks that were there are gone now. 
see if I can do a 50-50, probably not, in this light. Yeah, I can't really see it. Hopefully my microphone is picking me up. I'm talking kind of loud, that's why. But, oh, I didn't get it right here. I'm gonna have to go over this panel again. So that's how that stuff works, and uh, I'll pick this up as I go around. So I brought with me, just because I wanted, I was curious, bug and smudge remover by Griot's Garage. Let's see if it's gonna get rid of these black streaks. You remember from when I went around the vehicle earlier, right around these letters is where they were the worst. We're gonna spray it on. I'm gonna let it sit. Actually, there's a lot of nasty stuff down in this vent too. But for this demonstration, we're gonna just do these stre streaks right here. We wanna see what happens. Because it does say bug and smudge, so. I'll consider this streaking a smudge. And that works great, actually. Of course, I don't expect anything less out of the Griot's Garage product, to be honest with you. And that, whew, that worked great. Let me rinse that down. I'm gonna have to move you back to this one and spray my camera. Sorry. There we go. Don't be noisy. Told you I was just gonna pick you guys up whenever I just felt like it. I just got done doing that one on camera some minute ago. And look at that. That worked better than that purple power, in my opinion. Not a lot of scrubbing to be done or anything. That was great. So bug and smudge removal works good as, as well from Griot's Garage. Okay, this side is washed and ready to be waxed tomorrow, but it's gonna, I'm going to let it dry. I don't know if the camera's picking this up. Right there, right in that corner of that window where that streak was, it is barely visible. I'm not worried about that. At uh, Rear's Garage, one step sealant. Man, I'm having a brain fart. I'm sitting here sweating my butt off. Um, one step sealant should take care of that. As you notice, underneath the letters looks so much better. It's a lot better. It's kind of weird to wash one side of the vehicle and dry it. So I've already washed and dried. Walk on the other side here. Washed and dried it. And one thing I did notice. With that pressure washer, when I'm hitting it on this window, the, wa the water's going in and inside these little cabins because these are designed for water to come down, not straight at it. So I gotta be careful on the other side, but I opened them all up, dried them all off, any bit of water that was in them. But so far, this side is looking really good. So now we're gonna move on to either the back or I need to do the top, but I'm kind of waiting on my wife to get here because she might be the one that has to do it. She's a lot lighter than I am. I'm kind of scared to be up there on that roof. I don't want to damage the, the roof of this vehicle. So we will pick it up here on something else. Okay, the back is washed. Just want to give you an overview before we move on to the driver's side. I'm going to try to walk around this big fan. And then here is the passenger side of the vehicle. It's washed, no wax. This is the washing day. And this door. Fender. I'm gonna show you this. How nice and clean that is. It was like mildew and stuff right here. I'll show you on the other side because it's got the same stuff. Front end is clean. Okay, so I'll show you what I'm getting ready to uh, do for you. Or show you. See all this stuff right here? That's like mildew. Just resetting. I wish the light would pick up all these streaks. There you go, all these streaks. There's streaks all over the door. So I'm going to show you how I figured out the best way to do this. The best way I have found is Greer's Garage Bug and Smudge Remover. i got to move my step stool. Greer's Garage Bug and Smudge Remover. Dry. Start.
give it some time to dwell. And then after the bug and smudge remover, I use the foam cannon with the uh, vehicle and boat wash purple power. Foam it, and I use the brush, I scrub it, and all these streaks are going away. It's, it's not really that hard work. It's, like I said, it's hot. It's like probably 95 degrees in here, and I'm barely sweating. It's, this stuff right here takes most of the work out. And that stuff just wipes right off all the, the streaks. Uh, hopefully the camera's picking that up. I, if not, I'll bring you in close. I mean, I'm barely pushing down. Putting hardly any pressure at all on it. Just like that. And I'm just doing this on the streaks. I'm not doing this on all the panels or anything like that. Just where I see streaks. So that's the majority of the streaks. I made it almost around the whole vehicle. That's how much I got left, but I still have this whole side. I just remembered I wanted to show you guys that bull shine. I think it's called twister towel, the drying towel. I have not used it yet. You grab it. Here it is. I have not used it. Bear with me, I'm gonna move you. See if it works as well as the Griot's does. Yes, it does. That's dry. Completely dry. Man, that's worth it. So I'm gonna order some more of these. Definitely worth the 17. Man, I got water all the way over here. I've already dried this whole side of the car. Definitely worth the $17.99. Now I washed it twice and it still has a funky smell. It's like catfish or something. I know, I'm moving you guys all around. And it's jerking like crazy. How that thing dries. Very, very happy with this purchase. Not as big as the Grios or the Adams, but it works exactly the same. And you can buy two of these for the price of one at either one of those places. Okay. You remember what it looked like before? All those streaks are gone, including the ones that were on the door here. Remember when I went down the door like this? All the streaks are gone. And any type of light hazing like this right here, the one step um, sealant will take care of that tomorrow. So that is the best way that I've found to do this, to get the black streaks off. Uh, the easiest way where you're not using so much muscle. And uh, 
to the, uh, I'm sorry, people. The Griot's Garage, plug and smudge remover, and then the purple power, and then dry it. That's just the best way I found to do it. One thing I forgot to mention before we wrap this video up. This is a gorilla ladder that I got at Home Depot. It's called a slim fold. The legs lock in place. And it's about two and a half feet off the ground. I'll tell you what, I paid $30 for it. It was on clearance, not clearance, but on sale this uh, Memorial Week. And for $29.99, normally they're $60, so it's half price. And this thing has just been amazing for me on this camper. So I was a really good buy on that. So, get you where I can see you. That's going to do it for this video, uh, part one of uh, detail on this camper, removing black streaks off of a camper. And we washed it, and I used bug and smudge remover, purple power, vehicle and boat cleaner. I scrubbed it, I foamed it, and dried it, and it's looking really, really good. So now we'll move on to waxing. That'll be in the next video of waxing the vehicle with a Grios Garage one-step sealant. So if you like this video, give us a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button while you're down there and a little bell next to it. So every time I upload a video, you get notified and we will just see you next time.